Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Finance Committee. I am Alderman Stoyer. I'm here. We have uh, Alderman Tom Dwayne, Alderman Slotik, and Joe Moore is absent. He had another event. And uh, Alderman Dwayne, or uh, I'm sorry, Netting will be sitting in. So we're all here. Approval of the agenda. So moved. So Second. Second. Second by Slotik. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? <coughs> that passes. Approval of the minutes from the February 13th, 2018 Finance Committee meeting. Move approval. Second. Slotic, second by Dwayne. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Number four, consideration with possible action on a request by the city assessor to rescind property taxes for GBES owner ILLC East Town Mall properties for 2017 per mediated agreement. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve with this for discussion. And then just have Diana come up and explain what's going on. I did make some phone calls to the second. particular. Okay. All right. May I have a just second so we can get for discussion. Okay. I'll second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, I can talk to the numbers if you'd like. Yes, that would be great. Uh, and then Russ can talk to And just briefly the situation, and you know, we did read some things, but I, we'd like your input. Well, you want this? Why don't you do the situation first? All right. Okay. Um, <coughs> and, well, it's East Town Mall. It's two parcels that uh, were under litigation. This is the 2017 assessed value. So this has been going on for roughly a year or whatever. So um, that was on a, a sale, which we didn't regard as being a legitimate sale. So. That their contention was worth $3 million. We were at like a little over $7 million for the two parcels. Uh, couldn't come to any sort of agreement. They didn't have any information other than their sale price. So back and forth, back and forth. And ended up <coughs> uh, with their new attorney not being very uh, reasonable. So they, uh, with the uh, mediation that we had just completed with Bank Mutual, the mediator suggested that perhaps he knew the other attorney that, and they suggested that mediation may work in this instance also. So we agreed to mediate this, and they also agreed. And we came down to it, and after a long period of back and forth, um, we agreed at $4 million on the, uh, the value for the property for just 2017. With that entails, though, we will, they paid their first installment for the taxes on the, the $7 million. So being $4 million is what we we'll uh, uh, agreed to for the final amount. They paid less than half. So they'll still all portion for the second payment, but we'll still have the, the rescission. It's going to be a parcel, partial rescission of the taxes. So what we'll have to do is mainly pay back a portion to the other taxing entities for what we have not, we're not going to receive. Okay. Considering everything that's going on with this, are you fairly satisfied with the result? Well, let's just say that neither party is happy, so that's the best can be achieved in a mediation settlement. But I think going forward, uh, the this number, this $4 million, is going to be the basis for the TIF agreement. And so that gives them a, a large uh, gap from where we're starting at and a, a good place to go for as far as increment, increment to grow the, bu the building out there and the amount of uh, improvement they can make. So I think uh, going forward, it's going to be a, a good thing for the city. And uh, I see this as a positive. So uh, the agreement with the uh, developers actually spells out what the numbers are going to be going forward, and they're, they're positive numbers. So okay. we're happy. Question. Thomas, go ahead. Um, I have a couple of questions for us. Sure. Um, I noticed that uh, that the land values did not change at all, only the structure values. Right. I'm was, not it, was there no dispute between the parties on the land values? No, it, it's it's the total value. You can't really dispute one or the other. It has to be a total value. And because we're not changing land values in between revaluations, I chose to keep the land values consistent throughout the whole area. So uh, because of the mall being in the, the condition that it is, we decided to drop the values on the improvements instead. So the land was, values are just That was our choice. They have the adjustment show up on the property, on right. the land. That was on, my on choice. The buildings rather. Correct. Okay. Um, second question is, does agreeing to something like this create some exposure for us relative to other people that may want to challenge their assessment. Well, like I said, this is only for 2017, so this value is, you know, a prior year. So going forward, the number is going to be actually for 2018 is going to be the $7 million that we started at. Okay. And then beyond that, it's going to go up even higher. So I don't see it as being anything other than 
looking at the sale that occurred on that particular property and we have other sales that dictate other values so I don't I don't see that as being a, a problem okay thank you okay I don't have anything else all right uh, anybody else uh, David I I was curious about the uh, calculation that uh, apparently when we uh, revise their assessment the school tax credit is revised as well right correct okay that's just the way it works then. Mm -hmm. okay No, Russ, I know the, and I've talked to you in the past about this, about you know, the whole art store theory, and I think, uh, you know, we, it just seems to be a buzzword as of late, and I know that you and your office have worked very diligently to make sure that you know, we move forward and not fall into that, and I, I guess I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't one of those things like, oh, No, this wasn't really something. an example of... And unfortunately, the paper I know. got that all wrong. I know. This wasn't That's why I needed the, to hear that. Right. This was just an example of a difference of opinion regarding a sale. So they had one idea, we had another, and uh, it came out in mediation. So okay. um, uh, the paper never talked to me, so I have no idea <coughs> where they got the <coughs> from. So it's, okay. it's uh -huh. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, because I'm just going to point that out because Go they're going to look at the minutes and then write something again. And I wanted to make sure that, that, yes. that they got it wrong. And right. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, anything else? Anybody else care to speak to this? Otherwise, Russ, I, you got anything else to do? No. Call the question. We got the motion. All right, we have the motion. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? That passes. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Russ. All right. Uh, next, we have report by the finance director. Nothing Once new. We receive a place on file. <laughs> Second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Aye. Motion to Aye. adjourn. adjourn. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Thank you. Thank you all.